What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing awesome today. Uh, today we're going to go through and pick a winner for the giveaway on one of these two flashlights. Going to take just a few minutes and go through the computer here and answer a few questions that you guys asked. Uh, first I just want to say thanks for everyone that you know commented, entered the giveaway. Uh, I'm thankful to be able to do these giveaways and wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. And want to say thanks to the company Vastfire for providing the lights. So I didn't really think about it whenever I set up the giveaway this way by just asking you guys to comment how you would use the light and then to make sure and ask me a question. But it uh, really put a lot of pressure on me because I had probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 comments in there and I had to go through and just pick one winner. I did enjoy going through and taking a look at all the comments and seeing how you guys would use the lights for your certain applications, whatever you're gonna be using it for, but it has put a lot of pressure on me having to go through all those and only selecting one. But one thing I do want you to keep in mind is although I'm only doing one giveaway on this, there's gonna be one left because um, I had two up here for the giveaway and you get to pick one of those. But just keep in mind, I also have Got another one here. And this is another one as well that's not even been out of the package yet. So it's still sealed. So we're looking at uh, one, two, at least three left to do in the future. So make sure and stay subscribed, follow along. Um, I don't know at what point I'll be doing the future giveaways, but there's definitely more to come. So just gonna take a few minutes here and go through a few of these questions. Um, had somebody ask where I'm located. So I am located in central Indiana, uh, just south of Indianapolis. I uh, lived here pretty much my whole life. So I had a guy here from the uh, Marine Corps ask me what branch of service I was in and my MOS. I was in the Army for four years and I was a combat medic platoon leader, uh, 70 Bravo. I actually did just shy of four years. Uh, right before one of my deployments uh, and right after uh, airborne school. Went through airborne school just fine. Uh, came back home, was on leave before deployment. And playing a simple pickup game of basketball, I tore my ACL, MCL, meniscus. And uh, had a couple surgeries with that. Ended up being put on uh, blood thinners for like four or five years. And the military and blood thinners don't really go hand in hand. So I was unfortunately... Uh, med boarded out of the military. Um, miss it a lot, but still try to, you know, stay active with shooting and competitions and things like that. I had someone ask about the green lens or standard light. For predator hunting, I hunt a lot of coyotes around here. Uh, I actually prefer a red light. That's just because my, you know, my bigger and better, more expensive hunting lights are a fixed uh, red bulb. So I actually haven't used a green that much, but Whenever I'm just doing comparisons in the backyard, the green seems to do just as good as the red. So I don't really think you can go wrong either way. Somebody asked why I decided to start posting videos to YouTube and what my thought process is on deciding what to post. So I found myself, you know, having these neat experiences that while I was out hunting or, you know, shooting targets and I would come back with some kind of crappy video footage taken with a cell phone and just wanted to be able to not only have the story but have you know the video footage to back it up and I just enjoyed you know sharing those experiences with others and family and friends mainly at that time and then just thought about the the platform of YouTube and decided to kind of pursue that and see where it would go and um, pretty happy with how things are kind of taken off here and people seem to be enjoying it for the most part but We'll see what happens here in the future. I don't know what YouTube's gonna, you know, hold for us. Outdoor channels, hunting channels, trapping channels, all that stuff. Seems like they're starting to crack down a little bit. So I might have to shift gears and start doing some more of the product reviews and uh, more bow hunting type stuff without rifles. We'll just kind of see what happens. I've got some rifle videos on here that perform really well, but if YouTube's gonna crack down on that and kind of put a stop to that. That's gonna throw a wrench in things, but we'll just go with the flow and do what we can. And then as far as focusing on what I decide to post or the videos that I decide to make, uh, for me, I don't wanna ever post anything that I don't fully enjoy, anything that I don't fully you know, buy into, believe in, anything like that. So uh, I'm a big hunter, I'm a big rifle shooter, pistol shooter, 
just outdoors in general. So um, anything related to that, it's just simple, you know. Uh, it does get cumbersome sometimes packing all the video equipment, but I enjoy, you know, sharing those experiences with you guys and friends and families. Had a few people ask what my favorite game to hunt is. Um, first to be deer for sure, a uh, huge deer hunter. Uh, second is probably pretty close tie with coyote and turkey. I uh, had someone on here ask what my bucket list hunt was. That's a pretty cool question. Um, it's probably going to be, I would say, a moose hunt or maybe a bighorn sheep. One of those two, but I would probably have to go with the moose hunt. A uh, weapon would be preferably a bow. Uh, definitely uh, would like to you know, have a crack at one with a bow. I think that would be pretty good at adrenaline rush. With who would definitely be my dad, for sure. Uh, dad's the one that got me into this sport, got me into this addiction, and uh, I would just love to, you know, be able to take him along with me on something like that and just head out west and, uh, you know, do a do a cool, crazy hunt like that. Uh, definitely would mean a lot to both of us, so uh, definitely take my dad on that. Once again, I just want to say thanks to everybody that entered this uh, giveaway. Uh, this was hard for me just to pick one winner from all this. Uh, but keep in mind, we've got some more to give away here in the near future. So just keep your eye out for that. But the one that I do want to pick for the giveaway, the winner, uh, just reach out to me. Comment on this video down below. I'll find a way. I can either shoot you my email address or we'll find a way to communicate. But uh, the winner that I picked is Boxy's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, he's putting together a 243 for, for uh, predator hunting with his son. Uh, so that means a lot to me, you know, getting the younger generation into the sport, getting them uh, familiar, comfortable with firearms. There's just so many people that are scared anymore of firearms. And I think it's up to us to kind of lead the way on that. Um, they're not going to be familiar with it. They're not going to be uh, comfortable with weapons if we don't you know introduce them to the weapons uh, so i think that's huge just you know teaching the younger generation making them more comfortable with it um, i know there were some others on here that were going to be using it for kids as well or even wives um, so sorry that i i could only pick one so just make sure and comment down below on this boxies and uh, i'll find a way to get this to you i'll cover the shipping cost the rest of you guys, I do appreciate you guys entering this time around. Make sure and stay subscribed. Click that notification bell so you know when the next giveaway, the next um, YouTube video is out. And uh, I look forward to pumping out more content. And thanks to all you guys for following along, being subscribed, and supporting the channel. And as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.